Alright, so I just got work hour two ago. Day day, Saturday, whatever you wanna call me. Playing Grand Theft Auto, waiting on the goddamn taxi. Been trying to concentrate. I've been working now. We're getting checkers rallies out. Even if you don't eat that shit no more because of, you know, you know. Checkers is one of those restaurants that you grow up in the ghetto and you just eat it for no reason. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those restaurants that, you know, when it comes to fast food, that's one of the restaurants that, that you must, that you just eat it for no goddamn reason. You know, most fast food is. But, um, I'm out here in Somerville, South Carolina. I've been chilling. And, um, pretty much... Oh, fuck, I got ran over. Look at that bullshit. You see how they knew me? But. Oh, yeah, this supposed to be a toxicity rant. The reason why a lot of people way, seem to be stagnant, seem to be going through shit is because, you know, like me, when I was a kid, I had somebody literally tell me I used to use a lot of reverse psychology on you. And um, that's pretty much, you know, what people do. That's pretty much the gist of life. Like when you're a kid, when people start teaching you things and then you start rationalizing it in your mind, it becomes a concept. And once it becomes a concept... It's embedded in you, and you can't really reverse the fact that you were taught that concept once it's, you know, once you um, start to form an opinion. It just all depends, like, you know what I'm saying? Most people are, you know, plotting on the downfall of the new people that is born here in this world and pretty much um yeah um I said life is a game of Grand Theft Auto and a lot of my toxicity just come from being smart that's all a lot of smart people like you know when you're intellect, like I said, you have to, you have to be taught some kind of way, you know. Um, I work in a very small environment. It can be very stressful, but like I say, I grew up in pretty much, most of the people in my life have autism or so, show some type of disability or learning that or like some type of uh, controlling mindset that really is the reason why they ain't as far out in life as they should be. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how people are. Like people I know, you know, when I was a kid, somebody paid somebody to rape me and break my hymen because they wanted me to continue to feel inferior or I guess they wanted me to be a certain way and that's why I wrote my little freestyle for that floss and Mike Jones it say let the hate ball off ball at all costs young and old school so you know I got a floss haters treat me like a boss I'm going through rookie time I'm young so they saying that I'm on a rookie grind Blast at your ass like a motherfucking asteroid. Niggas think I'm scared, but I'm motherfucking paranoid. And I say, hey, see, yeah, we like candy paint too. Gold teeth, so cap when you see me coming through. Why you worry about me? I ain't worried about you. Why you worry about your honey? She gon' play you like a dummy. Want an old school thing. Sitting on 20 something. For the TFP, I'm trying to hustle like I'm wearing. Like a bitch on a tilt like a motherfucking fan. I'm just trying to hustle hard to get some motherfucking grand. You can keep me swagged up. With my motherfucking pants low, I don't rob me. That's why you see me ride so low. Keep a bad lead with some motherfucking polo. Check my ID and see it on my photo. Niggas hang on, but you know I take your hold on. 
See, I grew up around a lot of Gucci people, and I got to deal with these people for the rest of my life, and they built a certain way, and they speak a certain way, and at the end of the day, man, I swear to God, I just had, okay, yeah, I just had to make sure I still had my money. Damn. See, this game is about concentration, and that's what happens once you teach, um, Once you teach your kids concepts and to seek validation from others, that's what's gonna happen. People gonna view them as insecure. People were sitting there teaching me to hate myself. I am not just saying that shit. And this is why I have a lot of inferiority complexes. This is why I don't have no boyfriend or girlfriend on that. I'm a single lesbian and people from what I understand, the whole butch concept, I don't know too much history about lesbianism, but this is a concept, this is an idea formed from, you know, women being rejected with men, and pretty much that's what they want to happen. They want women to um, be, women that are rejectful pretty much usually are feminists who are rejectful with men. And pretty much what happened was, um, when I was a kid, you know, my mom was pretty much seemingly stuck in the situation. Well, I ain't gonna say she was stuck in the situation. Her and my grandma are the reasons why I'm going through everything I'm going through as a young lady. And I don't blame them for shit I'm going through. I'm just saying that. Once she had me, it was over with. A lot of people really just, you know, have vendettas against kids, innocent kids growing up. I grew up around a lot of people with, you know, dysfunctional mindsets, and I'm still dealing with it. I'm at work today, and I'm like, this lady fussing at me for doing the right thing, but I got to understand these people come from different places. They were made pessimists when they come to the United States. Some people are born in third world countries to where they don't, they're not worried about uh, mechanics and plumbing and shit like that. And they come out here and they become pessimists. And, you know, they're pretty much mocking the attitudes of the pessimistic people around them. And that's what, that's what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with people that, you know, pretty much, you know, a ringing in my head based off the fact I'm not receptive of them from an intellectual standpoint. Um, you know, they just killed my ass on here. I'm like, man, this Grand Theft Auto shit, you know, just from a psychological perspective, the more better I get on it, it's just like I, I, I say, life is a game of Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto for me, you know. When I was a kid, pretty much I understood what feminism was and what a predatory mindset was when it came to men. And all those men were pretty much, you know, I don't know, these people shooting a car, I don't know, this man went there a lot of, but like I said, a lot of people in my life are retarded, autistic, and pretty much I value an education, but I had to drop out of school because of rape culture, and at the end of the day, I really wish that, um, you know, life was perfect, but it's not, so... Uh, life has led me to analyze Gucci people, and I feel so dumbed down because of that. I need to actually, I I actually view them as a detox from my stressors. You know what I'm saying? Like I I feel negative energy, and I actually view them as a detox. I don't know how I can explain that because they're different from me, or they're not different from me, but it, they're seemingly different from me. So with all that being said.
I was taught to be a racist, so I'm rejectful with white people. You know what I'm saying? I'm rejectful with foul odors. I'm rejectful with people that just don't have the same amount of uh, common sense that I do. You know, I work at Checkers Restaurant and have the people in my life. You know what I'm saying? They ain't about that life. They. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm growing these damn wicks out. I'm growing my hair. I think I'm going to grow like five big locks in my head. And pretty much I value the Rastafarian lifestyle. I just ate some chips when I got out. I've been avoiding eating checkers, grease. And I think, you know, I'm at a point where I'm not going to do it again. I don't like to eat bad stuff. Like I said, I want to get my, my, my shit together, and I want to clear my mind, but to some degree, I can't, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, like I said, have created barriers in my mind and have created tension within my soul, and it was done purposely because either they were an intellect and they were just bored and they needed something to do, or they just, you know, they really didn't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's just how it works. Like, alright, so now I should have $16,000. Yep, 12 stacks. I said 16, so I ain't got that. Ain't going that motherfucker. Alright, so with all that being said, goddammit. This goddamn game really got me fucked up. Like I said, I got a lot of autistic people ringing in my head, and I know they can't help themselves because. They were being conceptualized. They were being taught that they were different from um, a sense of normality. And I, as a lesbian, definitely can relate to that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people in my life are dysfunctional, including my mom. And I really, you know, I, I sympathize with them 100%. Like I said, I grew up around people that really have mental issues. And I've been in denial about it because I understand the concept of being in denial about some shit. So, mm-hmm. that's the point of creating fr- freaking paradigms and understanding and being educated. You know what I'm saying? My life stopped at ninth grade pretty much, and I've been in sexual abuse counseling ever since I was a kid. I dealt with dysfunctional adults with dysfunctional behavior. You know, like, like I'm at work today and some lady getting mad at me and I'm like, you're a pessimist. And I'm like, I'm a pessimist too. And we've got to conversational detox each other. And at the end of the day, those people, you know, they don't know no better. You know, I was watching a um, documentary about the Philippines and all that. A lot of these people just, sir, sir, people are built a certain way. You know, and you know, once they um see once if somebody I have haters, you know what I'm saying? I have no choice but to have haters. I'm a single person and I literally enjoy enjoyment. You know what I'm saying? I literally enjoy enjoyment. I literally want to be a happy person and I literally can't stop thinking about all these people that are pessimists too. Like, you know what I'm, I'm a pessimist because of um, a man having sex with me. And pretty much, you know, I've had this experience several times. Men can't make me happy. A woman can. You know, I was I learned feminism when I was a kid. And pretty much, that's what I've been on. I mean, you know, I've been submitting to people. And there have been people that are sitting here trying to fight my paradigm and all this shit and I'm like all these people are not happy because if they were they wouldn't be attacking me and I'm like I can't let people step all over me so I've had to you know 
get out of my element. As a woman, I am finding the urge to be like very butch like. And what I mean very butch like, most people associate a butch mentality with being muscular. And I just want to say that that's not the point. You know, I'm a lesbian. A lesbian is not a freak. A lesbian is not a pervert. A lesbian is a woman that likes a woman. And I'm out here being oppressed by women that have chose to like men simply because they have sex appeal to them. And that is not going to get you anywhere. All these men seek validation from my, from my womanhood to prove themselves to somebody else. These men are not secure men. And at the end of the day, I'm dealing with people with some... I'm, I'm a very deep-minded person. I've got people ringing in my head, people running up on me. They think they're game bangers. I have these women out here that think they game bangers and OGs. They ain't nobody special. They're just a bunch of hoes. They're getting preyed on and people are they're being rejected by their boyfriends and shit. And that's the fucked up part about life. All these people, you know, pretty much are applying on me because they... They being do a lot of shit, you know. Like I say I had people tell me they used to study me when I was a kid. This is the south. I'm not pretty. I'm not sure of all these people who got superiority complexes over me and my family, but I see them out here. You know, like I'm saying well, we ain't nobody special. Pimp Snooky, all these Chicano people and shit like that it happened naturally. Racism and shit. That shit happened naturally. You know, I was taught the concept of jealousy. I remember it was an argument about men. And I've been through a lot of shit because of the concept of manhood. And I pretty much been, I'm like, if I if I decide to be an FTM, I'm going to be pretending to be all these whole boyfriends in my head. And it fucked up because I'm like, I'm being rejected for our womanhood. And they would just wanted me to be a girl. And I'm like, oh, y'all gonna kiss my ass. In real life. In, in, in reality. In reality. So with all that being said, the adults in my life, it, it feels, I feel so alone sometimes because... I have to um pretty much keep myself in check about myself. All these people ring in my head. Like I said, I grow up with, you know, grown ass men touching on me and shit, and really thinking it's a sense of normalcy. Like when I was a kid, I understood what a predatory male was, and I was taught, you know, in a kid like way, stop, Mister Predator. Do do do. I would flirt with them, and then I would see if they would respond in a um normal manner. You know what I'm saying? You don't flirt with kids and shit. And I would do it purposely. And I, you know what I'm saying? I never viewed myself as a seductive person. You know, I when I, when I was, I was, I've always been educated. I used to sit there and put bass in my voice just to understand, like, you know, I, I've got more than enough goddamn proof I can pull up to even, you know, get approved for being a transitional male. But it's not about that. It's about people having a mind. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't. It's project mentality. You know, rape babies, autistic people, people with deformities and shit like that. All this shit happened goddamn natural. Ain't shit I can do about it. I got a very deep mind. So me being a feminist, all these male and female connections, I'm seeing all these women, I done walk around and they becoming other people. But everybody ain't got the same experience. Like I said, there are women that don't reject men. And their lives are laid out perfectly for them to actually connect with a man. And I appreciate these women, but I don't appreciate them turning on me because they like men. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, I can't get along with a lot of people because my mind ain't like them. You know what I'm saying? I raise myself pretty much to understand that I was going to be treated the same way. I raised myself to be gay. You know what I'm saying? I used to walk around my neighborhood telling everybody I was gay and I got shunned for it. And I'm like, that shit's stupid because y'all like here. Having sex with Tom, Dick, and Harry, and y'all don't need y'all. Why would you do it? So at the end of the day, you know, you can't change people's be way of behaving and shit like that. I'm like, 
a police officer pulled up to my door and had sex with me and I'm like I don't understand what, 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 why you like me. I don't understand why you want to stick your dick in me. I have people that want, I can see, I understand from a intellectual perspective of why people are sitting here being miserable and attacking me. I'm like, what the fuck you want to keep attacking my damn paradigm for? I'm a damn lesbian. I would never like you. Because all these bitches out here decided they want to be with a man who would... I done help y'all niggas enough. I wrote a song called Boyfriend Number Two. I'm helping y'all justify y'all polygamous actions and all this old bullshit y'all on. You know what I'm saying? What? Leave well enough alone off in this motherfucker. So, with all that being said... I pay the bills in here. All right, if you got a problem, you need to leave. My little sisters, they act like they act like little white girls. Like that shit get on my nerve. That's why I say I'm always listening to um a lot of the Geechee music because they they were a detox for me. You know what I'm saying? Geechee people are a detox for me, and that's why I used to get mad. Cause I went to an outdoor therapeutic program, and my little sisters pretty much had this white lady. And I think she was racist. And she pretty much rolled off on my little sisters. I was trying to keep them open-minded and shit. So, you know, though they didn't show them how to be passive-aggressive. They was teaching them how to be girls. I was teaching them how to be boys. I taught my my little sisters to be uh boys. But we dealing with people from, you know, third-world countries. They ain't been exposed to too much. And they... Teaching my little sister how to uh, have a closed mind and shit. And I'm like, man, these folks ain't about their life. So, all that, with all that being said, I ain't did shit with my life but write a bunch of music about a lot of male perspective. And I had my own, I'm just analyzing people in their relationship being, a, being an empath. So I'm sitting here feeling inferior to all these different people and they think they thugs. Y'all look light skinned niggas and shit. Y'all need to stop. You know what I'm saying? I guess, you know, that it kinda of being a closed minded person. You know. All the all the people in my life, like I'm saying, I'm a I'm a full blown lesbian. I don't want I don't want no damn asking the woman. I like women for the way they is, you know. These men seem to be very insecure, and so do these women. I'm like, how the fuck you going to really, you know what I'm saying, how you going to be with a man and then this man got other bitches? It just don't make no sense. It, it really doesn't. But that's what happened. I said, I, I've been around meth addicts. I've been around all kind of people that come from different types of situations. And at the end of the day, I said, my little sister, they they little white girls. They get on my nerves, man. Oh, God. I'm like, man, I'm tired of dealing with illiterate people, man. I need to be around some, some real people like me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be judgmental, but, you know, I need to be around some people that can help me focus my mind, good conversation, and detox. <sighs> I enjoy my job at Checkers, but like I said, the lady who's who I'm working with at night, this dark-skinned lady, I don't know who she was, but it was a lady I remember. They they came to my grandma's house. They robbed my grandma. And that's how that shit happened, I guess, when you go out there Biloxi and shit. Whoever opened a casino set the shit up for the okie doke niggas living in the ghetto, motherfuckers robbing people for, you know, jackpots and shit like that. But I don't know who them folks were. But the lady that, that's the manager, I guess, she, or whoever she is at the my, at the restaurant, my grandma had an affair with the man, I guess that's how that shit happened. They 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 tried to rob her, and they robbed her, and she was having sex with some random man. I don't know who he was. He was.
I just got up. I got a deep mind, so. A lot of shit just get on my damn nerves. Uh, I got a lot of shit ringing in my head. It's a lot of people that told me they plotted on my downfall as a kid. And I'm like, I guess they're just a bunch of people that's born into riches and wealth. And they ain't got shit else to do but plot on somebody else's life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if that's what your life leads you to do, that's cool. But, you know what I'm saying? You a hater to me. Move forward with your life. I'm trying to work out and shit. Relax. I don't get off at check as I come home to some candles. I got a little cactus. It's a fake cactus plant. I would prefer to have a real one, but I'm not sure um, what type of conditions it need to be in. But I'm pretty sure yeah, if I got a real one, it's going to survive regardless because them motherfuckers be in the desert. And that's, that's, that's the type of shit I'm trying to be into. But yeah, I, I, it was a man when I was a kid. I called him Mr. Skin because he used to always buy my grandma pork rinds and and then shit like that. But that's I think his little his his wife and shit.